Hey there! In this video, we're going to explore Shapley values, a powerful technique used in machine learning to interpret how models work. Let's start by addressing the problem. Modern machine learning models are often black boxes. We feed in some inputs like x1, x2, and x3, and out comes a prediction y. But often, we have no idea why the model made that specific prediction. This lack of transparency can be a major issue, especially in high-stakes fields like finance or healthcare. To make this concrete, let's imagine you own an ice cream shop near an airport. You've built a model to predict how many ice cream cones you'll sell on any given day. Your model uses four features. The temperature, the day of the week, the number of flights arriving, and the number of hours your shop is open. And let's say for a specific day, your model predicts you will sell 1000 cones. But here's the catch. You know that on average, across all days, your model predicts sales of 2000 cones. So for this specific day, the prediction is 1000 cones lower than the average. The big question Shapley values answer is, who is responsible for this difference? How much of that negative 1000 comes from each feature? A naive approach might be to just take your specific day, change one feature, say the temperature, and see how the prediction changes. We could do this repeatedly and average the results. While simple, this has a flaw. It creates Frankenstein samples, combinations of feature values that might never exist in the real world like freezing temperatures on a day with peak summer flight schedules. Shapley values solve this using a smarter, albeit more complex method based on game theory. Here is the step-by-step -step logic. First, we create a random permutation or ordering of our features. Imagine shuffling them like a deck of cards. Second, we pick a random sample from our dataset to serve as a reference. Third, we create two hybrid samples. Let's say we want to know the contribution of the temperature feature. In our ordered list, we look at all features that come before temperature. For these features, we take their values from our original Tuesday sample. For features that come after, we take values from the random reference sample. Finally, in step 4, we compute the difference between these two hybrid samples to isolate the impact of our target feature. Look at the right side of the screen. We've constructed two specific scenarios using our permutation order. First, look at the without T box. For the features before temperature, day and flights, we use the values from our original Tuesday data. For temperature and everything after it, we use the values from our random reference sample. We feed this hybrid into the model and it predicts 850 cones. Next, look at the with T box. It is identical to the first one, except for one crucial change. We swap the random temperature value for our actual Tuesday value of 80 degrees. The model now predicts 1000 cones. Notice that the only difference between these two samples is the temperature value itself. By subtracting the first prediction from the second, 1000 minus 850, we find that the temperature feature contributed exactly plus 150 cones to the prediction in this specific scenario. To get the final Shapley value, we repeat this process thousands of times with different permutations and different reference samples, and then average all those contributions. This averages out the interaction effects and ensures a fair distribution of credit. Finally, by aggregating these values across many different days in your dataset, we can determine the global importance of each feature. We might find that the day of the week is actually the strongest driver of your sales, followed by flights, with temperature playing a smaller role than expected. This model agnostic framework allows us to peek inside the black box and understand the why behind any prediction. And that basically wraps up this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you found this explanation helpful, give it a thumbs up, share your thoughts in the comments, and subscribe to stay up to date with everything I post on this channel. See you in the next one. Bye bye.